Hey everybody and happy 4th of July weekend. Guess what time it is? So excited. Time for the July um, mystery box from Glitterchimp. It is $55 every other month and with the $55 you get I believe eight bottles of um, glitter and then if you order both or two boxes you get 16 glitters plus one bonus bottle. So it comes out to about six dollars a jar I believe for it but it's so worth it because you're getting all the Usually you're getting new releases and favorites and things they're bringing back. So it's it's real it's a it's a good deal and it's fun. You never know what you're gonna get. It's always fun to have a surprise. So we're gonna do an opening. Spoiler alert: if you do not want to see what is in the box until you get your box, please stop the video now because uh, there will be spoilers ahead. All right. I love the new boxes too. Love love love. And of course, I had to get out my glitter chip mat to do it. So I haven't looked at anything. I did just cut the tape so it would be easier to open. Ooh, look at that. All right, I'm gonna start at the beginning. Plum Believable. Ready, ASMR. Ooh, that is a coarse glitter. I don't know if you guys are catching the sparkle on that. It's beautiful. I'm very excited about that. I love purples. I have a lot of them, but I love them, so it's all good. Next, we have Hot Girl Summer. Put my glasses on. This one is a shredded iridescent glitter. So that's something new, the shredded glitters. That's uh, new for this July box. Oh, it's giving me a hard time. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> it's gonna be everywhere. But look how jam-packed that bottle is too. That's another thing I really love about them. Um, they go, I think it's by weight, if I'm not, not incorrect on that, to make sure you get the most value. Um, for the buck. So it's two ounces by weight. So if it's something real heavy, it might be a little less full. And if it's something real light like these, you can see it's jam packed. Um, so this is also a shredded iridescent glitter shaved ice. Oh, these little tops are sticky. Making a mess. We all know I make a mess. It's okay. Ooh, those are pretty. Cannot wait to use these on something. I'll figure out something. All right, we have another shredded iridescent glitter called Blaze. Very, very pretty. It's like a corally pink. I'm not sure how to describe it. Mostly on the pink side. I hope that shine's coming through on, on camera because they are quite beautiful. All right. Then next we have another shredded iridescent glitter. Namaste. Gorgeous, bluish, purplish. You're gonna hear me say gorgeous a lot. I'll try to come up with some <laughs> different, different words. Um, okay, sea foam. This one is a rainbow coarse glitter. Let's see. They must have a new machine to put the seals on. Ooh. Anybody see the secret of Nim or the legend of Nim? It's a sparkly Miss Brisby. We're gonna take a pause so I can adjust the camera. I'm gonna make sure you guys are getting everything in there. So bear with me, I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, we're all set, and thankfully I noticed this time, so I don't have to ditch the whole video and start over again. All right, so, ooh, neat. Paint Flake Mixology Camouflage. Oh, very cool. It's literally like paint flakes. Nice. That's different. Should have done my nails, I guess, for you guys. I've been painting and using acetone, so... Um, as anybody who knows who makes tumblers, it's a little hard to keep your nails nails done, but I try occasionally. All right, Vintage Rose, a coarse glitter. You can hear that in the background. It's uh, thunderstorms here in South Texas. Getting uh, God's giving us some fireworks for the 4th. Gorgeous. I think Vintage Rose, they had in a fine glitter. This is a coarse glitter because I think I might have it just in a, a fine form. All right. Quasar, I believe. Coarse Mixology Glitter. Very, very, very pretty. Believe it or not, they, if you mix those two together, it'll be real pretty as well. Very nice. It says coarse, but it, it feels pretty fine when you're when you're touching it. Um, so I think that would land a cup real good. And even though it's coarse, it might do tack it. Uh, we'll have to see. Might try that out. All right, witchy woman mixology glitter. Looks like we have a color shift. This one I immediately thought would look really good on a dragon scale tumbler. Oh yeah, I'm right. And perfect for the fall. Well, really anything that you want to add a little bling to. It's real pretty. Now I did order two boxes. Um, this month, so I think this is like all of it. I don't think I'm getting another delivery. If I am, I will um, post that and then I was wrong on the prices. So I will get back with you on that. Um, but it's cause this is 16 plus the two. All right. So this is Nightingale. It is also a mixology glitter. As I throw it on the mat. That is very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the different glitters in there. That's really nice. It's got like silvers and blacks and all different. I really like that one too. It's different. Oh, there's a big one. All right, Sleepy Hollow. This one is another mixology. Beautiful. It's very similar to Nightingale, different color scheme, of course, but the uh, way it's made, very similar. Look at that. Amazing. Reaseful. Might actually mix those together and see what I come up with. <laughs> All right. Good as gold mixology. One looks like it is made just like the two before it but of course it's all gold it is sparkly that's going to be beautiful under some epoxy man eater made similar this one looks like it's going to be a color shift as well it's a mixology just like the previous I'll say beautiful instead of gorgeous for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm really impressed with the, the glitters. All right, sorry guys. It looks like my video cut off. It could
could have been from the storms, but um, I did figure out where it cut off. So let's finish it up and go over the last four glitters. So we have Ripen Raspberry, um, also a Mixology. I have opened these already because I thought I was recording, so we don't have to worry about peeling everything off. This one is very similar in the way it's made to like the Sleepy Hollow and those. It's got the different colored circles, very, very shiny. Uh, like I said, this is going to be, these are going to be beautiful under epoxy. I cannot wait to see how they look. Um, yeah, that's gonna, they're going to be real pretty. All right. And then we have Tan Tide. This one, as you can see, it's like a goldish, maybe coppery, but um, a, a sparkly tan, maybe you would say, <laughs> but it's real pretty. Um, definitely in that metallic family. Uh, so different. And you could even pass that off um, semi rose goldish, I think, a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. See, so it's not quite as pink, but it definitely is in that kind of uh, family. All right, then we have the two, I think these are the two bonus ones. We have Blue Steel, uh, which is a coarse glitter. This is actually one of my, my favorite of the dark blues. I have used this for several um, things. And so I have had to repurchase it before, so I'm very happy to get it again. Um, it's definitely one that I will use and have used on different tumblers. All right, looks like my video decided it wanted to stop recording again. So I am going to go over this last item with you um, holding the phone. So hopefully it won't be too shaky for you guys. So the last one in the box was Texas Oil. This is one I have had before. I do like it. It is a nice sparkly black, as you can see. Um, it, lots of things you can use that for. Real happy to have that because the one I have is running low. And then I also got a an orange glitter chimp sticker. Um, I saw this on our Facebook group. Uh, somebody had it on a keychain and I love that idea because you can keep them and you don't have them stuck everywhere that way. So I really like that. Um, if I find out anything about, I'm pretty sure this was the double uh, mystery box that I got with the 18 um, glitters. If I find out any differently, I will certainly put it in the information down below. And uh, I hope everybody has a very fun and safe 4th of July. And as I always tell you guys, uh, I hope everybody stays happy, safe, and healthy all the time out there. Um, if you would like to subscribe, like, comment, share, or all of the above, I would certainly appreciate it. I'm trying to kind of get the YouTube off the ground. I need to start posting a little more regularly. I tend to post more on TikTok, so I'm going to work on posting more on YouTube. But I do appreciate any support you guys want to give me. So with that said, everybody have a really great long weekend and I will talk to you guys soon.